Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So if you're using Microsoft 365, then just a quick video to let you know that Microsoft has announced it's going to be improving accessibility and has said that it's upgrading the standard red font color in the color picker in Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, Outlook, and OneNote on Windows and Mac, which it says will make it more inclusive and accessible to all users. And I'm always in favor of accessibility improvements, as you well may know. Now, Microsoft says that the standard red font color, which is RGB 255.0.0, it says is one of the most commonly used in Microsoft 365, whether to highlight important text in Word or add emphasis to a slide in PowerPoint. But it says, however, its previous standard red did not meet the Web Content Accessibility Guidelines, WCAG for short, standard color contrast requirement against a white background for body text. So it says by slightly darkening the red RGB 238.0.0, it increases the contrast ratio enough to meet the WCAG standards. And you can see the difference may look very subtle between the two. But according to Microsoft, it significantly improves color contrast, making the red text easier to read for more people, especially those with a low vision or color vision deficiencies. And if you have a good look at this, you can see that this does seem to be a darker, more rich looking red than the one above it. Now, how this will all work, Microsoft says you would open Word, PowerPoint, Outlook or OneNote on Windows or Mac. You would select a word or block of text to change the font color of. Then you would select Home font color and then you would select the red color under standard colors as we can see in the image provided from the announcement and that will give you accessibility then to that color now the availability microsoft says is for word powerpoint outlook OneNote users running windows version 2411 build 18324.20012 or later and for Mac, that would be version 16.92, build 2412031 or later. So bringing that to your attention, maybe as an example, if you are visually impaired and you are using those Microsoft products. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.